Hey, I have been avoiding doing this YouTube video and that personally to me feels like I'm like, it's like self-betrayal. Um, and so that's really funny because that's one of my downloads for this week. Um, my shadow has just been like nap, nap, nap. I'm irritated. I'm irritated. I'm restless. I'm restless. You know, visions of 2014 are coming, 2015 are coming, 2016, um, all the way through 2019. So I'm kind of in this like, like revamping of my healing journey because I've already obviously healed a lot of those timelines but it's almost like being pushed in my face again for like one more last look of forgiveness um so yeah forgiveness is one of the main topics i want to talk about happy new moon in pisces um this is an energy of really being able to renew ourselves through faith being able to realign and reestablish the ways in which we view ourselves through the eyes of another um, so opening our hearts up to compassion, being able to see um, even through the fog. And I feel like that really comes when you open your heart and you're no longer seeing from the ego space. You're seeing from the loving higher perspective and knowing that like every, you know, situationship, every friendship, every, you know, relationship, whether it been platonic, work related, or romantic has come and kind of been a healing teacher for us so we can remember who we are even through the thick of it we have to remember that it's never the blame game right it's never like oh it was them no this is just a part of our story that we volunteered to endure so we could learn lessons and ultimately that is why we have the power to forgive which is ultimately just giving back the energy in which we um, entitled, right? Entitled we stole or taken or just held captive or hostage. Um, so that energy is very prevalent right now. We have some major transits happening in the sky. Um, the new moon happened at one degree today, which the ruling planet of that is gonna be Jupiter and Aries right now. And what that energy really brings to us is understanding that Venus, sorry, not Venus, I wanna say Venus is exalted in Pisces, but Jupiter is also um, rule, ruled by Pisces. And so having this energy ultimately allows us to take what may be um, directing us into a space of you know, fogginess can be redirected into a space of like self-empowerment and we can ultimately initiate change based off of our willingness to forgive. I'm channeling right now, so I'm not like looking directly at the camera. <laughs> People are like, why are her eyes like cross-eyed? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to get some words out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so forgiveness is really important. Um, something that I really wanna to touch on too is that Saturn is going to be entering um, Pisces. It's leaving Aquarius after three long years. In Aquarius, we are finally shifting the energy from, you know, what feels like a heavy weight on our shoulders to kind of this light, airy energy that actually asks you to just be present and conscious through the shift. And what I mean by this is just like acknowledging that we as beings right now are being offered a chance to really give those childhood dreams a chance to live a place to live in this world and so a lot of what you've dreamed of in the past may be making its way to you formally to say hi it's good to meet you in the present in the 3d um and a lot of you are going to be asked to level up and that means doing things that you don't want to do through your creative lens okay so like for me it's creating youtubes it's showing up here in this space because that's something that I'm really committed to and I I love doing this. Even though I put it off, I love doing it. I love talking to you, I love helping you heal and I love growing each week, week over week with you in this like 444 energy, in this energy of like, 
you can start from somewhere and build that foundation and ultimately that foundation it's it's your energy that you put into it so it can be either amazing or it cannot be right but ultimately it comes back to you and what you're willing to do with it um i think pisces is like amazing at whatever they do when they do it full proof and so spirit is really on our asses right now about doing it full proof starting sooner you know not waiting um and just being that beacon of light through what we've been given in our gifts and our talents. Um, this is gonna piss me off because I think my phone's gonna to say like, I don't even really know why this turns off, but we'll keep going. Um, another thing that this moon is really talking about is all the possibilities. The possibilities to be great are endless, okay? So you can take the loopholes sometimes, but make sure that you still do the work. Okay, you can take the loophole, but make sure you still do the work. So maybe that says like, I'm gonna work for four hours in a flow today, but I'm gonna take the rest of the day to have time for me to bake my cakes, to, you know, um, relax with my feet up, to knit a scarf, to, you know, still take time into my creativeness, but also have some time to put into like work so I can create full time, you know, like it's like making time to do what you love so that can be paid back to you in full. Um, know that whatever dream that you are following, it may not look like the same model that you've always followed. As we shift into this new energy with Saturn and Pisces, um, Pluto going into Aquarius, like things are going to be different around here, okay? There's a new sheriff in town. No, but there's new ways to do what you love okay and so for some of you that paradigm hasn't been created yet and so you're like when is it going to be my turn and spirit's like listen your turn is actually right coming up if you would just do some of the work now trust me when it comes i got you right but um your time is coming and this energy that i need you to be in right now is just patience because when that paradigm shifts the timeline is going to be opening up a new like portal and this portal ultimately is going to be shifting your reality into the reality that gives you the golden path so you can follow it so you know where you're going a lot of you right now are just kind of like i know what i want i know the dream that i see but my timeline doesn't match this one and i know my vibrations high right like some of your vibrations are amazing you're doing great that's not the point the point is, is that we're kind of just waiting for the shift and so instead of trying to rush things, understand that like your mission is so great, it cannot exist in this paradigm right now. Okay, so that is kind of what spirit is killing off and what spirit wants you to know, like chill, the new road is being invented. Um, some of you are miserable in your jobs. <laughs> I'm reading off my like notes that I've just been taking. Um, and spirit is saying like this corporate model isn't gonna last. So also like, start preparing what your business would look like outside of a corporate model because some of these corporate companies are sad to say are, they're going to be going out of business um and the structures that were once you know held up will no longer last in the new paradigm so once again like spirit is asking during this pisces season that you just get very creative and very excited about the creations that you're getting ready to bring into this next reality um because what you are like holding within you is a power greater than this one can endure okay um take a risk spirit has really been saying loudly take a risk don't be so afraid to jump into something like and oh, i'm hearing love right now so love could even be something that's been on your mind and you're like i'm scared to jump on that dating app or this person asked me out and i don't know i'm just I, it's not a good vibe blah 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 like don't run from things that you actually have been praying about because spirit is bringing them. Um, but, you know, you have to be discerning again. Every time there's going to be like someone great at your door, there's also going to be someone to counter that offer to see if you're really ready for what you pray for. So make sure that you are present in each decision that you're making because ultimately spirit is leaving it up to you to decide what the next timeline, what the next outcome is going to be. 
Um, so taking a risk and jumping into something without proper boundaries, without proper time management is on all of that it's going to affect you how do you want it to affect you positively or negatively you have to remember like we're, we're adding value to our life at this point we're not adding any more detriments and I think I mentioned that in the last video is it productive or is it destructive to who you are becoming um so yeah take a risk don't be afraid to try something new don't be afraid to you know 